All right, so we're gonna go for dreary winter. So I'm gonna pick my next camera, um, and we'll just start there, and let me just kind of do an intro on that. The dreary winter scene, we're gonna run it through the same process, all right? We're gonna go into build mode, we're gonna adjust our layers, we're gonna add some seasonal objects to the winter layer, and then we're gonna load up our base effect stack, and then we're gonna tweak it to really sell the idea of a winter evening, all right? So let's get to it. All right, first things first, we'll go to build mode, and I'm going to adjust my layers. We don't wanna see fall anymore, but we do want to see winter. So winter is turned on, and I'm going to make sure that winter is my active current layer. That way any object that I add right now is gonna be controlled, the visibility is gonna be controlled by that winter layer. And really the only thing I need to add uh, right now is going to be a person. I'm just gonna go to my people and animals collection, and I think I called her out earlier. Uh, there's this one character uh, who does look like she's uh, ready for a storm. Where did she go? There she is. So we'll go here and place our winter character there. And I don't think there's two, I know there was like one or two others that were pretty decent when it comes to like uh, really bundled up. Uh, let's see if I can find that anyone else real quick. Uh, she's got a hat on, that's cool. We'll put her right there, and yeah, it looks good. All right, so again, you can always go and check check your views. You know, make sure that you got your people in the right place. And uh, again, I'm I'm gonna duplicate this camera. So here's our fall camera snapshot here. Head over, and there's my winter scene. Okay, so uh, we're in good shape. Let's let's get this winter scene built, and then we're gonna drop some lights and really make this thing like warm up and glow. All right, so. Um, First things first, I'm gonna build, uh, go to file and choose load effects. Load my base effects up like that. And then we need to go to our layer visibility and we need to turn on our winter layer. All right, so there's winter. All right, we'll go back out here and always uh, the real sky is gonna be what sets the mood. So choosing a real sky from our overcast collection, this overcast too seems to be a pretty nice uh, effect. All right, so there's the storm clouds looming in. Um, you know, we, we've got a, a nice snowstorm that's gonna happen, so let's go to uh, our precipitation effect. Uh, we'll go over here to precipitation. And we don't want rain, we want snow. So look at that, how easy is it just to scoot thing, just move that, that uh, uh, slider over and now the whole ground is covered with snow, my rain turns to snow. Um, really slick all right so we are definitely going to be on a snow scenario uh and then the precipitation phase that's where you know you might want to play with this a little bit and if i hold shift i can move real like slow down the movements of that slider and really dial in what i want and i found that like you know you don't want it to always max like you know everything's white covered with snow maybe you just want it to like you know show through a little bit more like that that could be kind of cool and you can see that like the plants now block, which is super cool as well. Uh, so whether it's blocked by plants a lot or a little, and I find that just a little bit, just enough that like some variation happens under the trees is perfect for me. Now, part of that precipitation effect is this extra fog addition. Uh, that really starts to like block out our real sky. So I would bring that back just a bit, you know, and, and I, I wanna be able to see that the real sky is happening there. And I think that's looking pretty cool. All right, now um, let's go back to our effect stack. Uh, we've got our shadows, reflections, really all that stuff is good. Um, this next part, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna use autumn colors to desaturate our trees because right now they're looking green. All right, so we're gonna use the autumn colors effect to pull the color completely out of the tree. I've heard this question a lot, you know, can you get uh, uh, the trees to lose their leaves? That doesn't work. Uh, we need to just desaturate them and then they'll, they'll have snow on them and it'll look right. All right, so let's do that. I'll go to, um, first off, double check my layer visibility. Uh, winter is layer number three. All right, so I'm gonna add my autumn colors. Autumn colors, I only want it to affect layer number three and I'm just going to desaturate those, those trees. So see how it goes from like super green to super gray. 
And so now it just, you know, fits better in this scene, okay? All right, so now um, I think we're in good shape there. I'm gonna add another effect at the top of my stack. Um, right now, all of the lighting is being controlled by my real sky. So I'm gonna go in here and add the sun effect. And what that does is I can override my real sky like this. I can bring the sun down, you know, and I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want it to be in a more of like that kind of twilight feel where it's uh, the sky's dark, the building is dark, it's pretty dreary, you know, it doesn't really look all that great, right? Um, so we need to make this thing glow. And to do that, I'm gonna drop some lights. All right, so let's do that. Let's go to uh, build mode. Again, we are on our winter layer. And I'm, I'm gonna set our sun down just so I can really see what's happening with my lighting. And we'll go over here and we're gonna add some lights here. So I'll go to my objects, place mode, and we're gonna go with lights and utilities. And it really, I find it doesn't totally matter. I pick an interesting uh, shape to my, or spread to my lights. Um, we'll just do that and just start clicking. And so I'll just kind of zoom over here. And I'm really not being careful because these are just street lights. It doesn't matter. You know, they're, they're just gonna shine down. And what I noticed, I was looking out my front window of my house when I was working late one night, uh, it was snowing. And I just noticed how like orange those street lights really are. And I think that'll be a cool look if we just set these up to have that kind of orange glow. And uh, we'll use the interior lights to be more of a white glow. All right, so now I'm gonna back up again like this. And you can see we've got all of our lights in place or all the ones that we need really. And then I can go to my select tool. I can select a light and then I can go to my advanced options and we can go to select all identical. Now for this one, I am gonna dial up the uh, intensity to like a thousand and um, eh, let's do 750. Let me see, 750. And then we're gonna change the cone angle. Let's see if that's gonna make a good effect for us, yeah. I'm good with a, a super wide cone angle. And then the color of these lights, I want them to be more of like that yellowish, orangish look, all right? And so um, let's see what that's doing for us. If I go to photo mode and take a look at my camera, there we go. So now, you know, we've got like those lights kind of uh, painting some some color on the side of the building and, and they're secondary and the primary lighting that I need is I want this part of the building to really glow all right so I'm gonna go back to build mode and we're again going to um, place some lights here so I'll go in here and go to my place mode and choose a different light hold H like that and then I'm gonna click click and click then scoot up above and use my select tool and I can hold control with that and then hold shift and alt and I can make a copy of these lights up to the front and then I can like hit my advanced options and hit select all identical objects and then we'll go in and make a copy of these straight down all right so watch this little trick we're going to use our uh, move up hold alt and make a copy of these straight down to the floor and then we're gonna rotate these and we're gonna set this at like minus 90. Again, I can always double click on any slider, hit backspace a few times, and then um, move, uh, type in a custom uh, input. So deselect all. That way that whole room is really lit up. And let me see where we're at on our uh, select all identical objects. Uh, we're gonna set these at like, let's try a thousand. I just want like a lot of light coming out of here. Really nice and bright and white. So we'll go back to our photo mode and take a look. So now this is starting to shape up. You know, it's a pretty dreary evening, but our um, our building is glowing and inviting us in, right? So uh, let's, let's really, uh, let's go further with that. And I think to do so, we're gonna use our lens flare. And so we'll, we'll dial up our master brightness. And I think that that is a super cool look. Um, you know, getting more bloom, more master brightness. Um, that looks pretty cool to me. And uh, color correction, let's see, we'll go there for color correction and maybe the whole thing should just be a little bit desaturated. You know, that's a lot. Um, here's a little bit. And maybe, you know, on an image like this, I would go in and add the exposure effect. 
And I can tell you that the exposure effect, I usually add that in at the very end. And that's where I say, you know what, I just need it to be brighter. Like uh, everything I'm doing, it's it's just a little too dingy. And so something like, like that I think will probably print well. And then I would go back, um, let's see, that's good. And exposure, yeah. I think that we're in pretty good shape. The last thing on precipitation is like the particle size, you know, like let's really make it wintry, you know, get all those snowflakes dumping and we're in good shape. So that's pretty cool. Um, right on. So uh, that's kind of everything for a winter scene.